as we come together to celebrate Matthew and Laura's beginning of their marriage, we remind ourselves of what brings us here. It is a desire to allow God's love to become part of their lives together. That's our hope today, that, that as they begin, that their hearts are open to that gift of God's love and that it inspires all of us to continue to trust in God's mercy. So beautiful! Thank you. <laughs> oh, my little girl has turned into such a beautiful, beautiful woman. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Again. Oh, wow. I love these. I, Matthew, take you, Laura, for my lawful wife. I, Laura, take you, Matthew my lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poor sickness and in health to love and to cherish until death do us part I'm ready for a life where nothing holds me back oh hey buddy, all that I need. <laughs> surrounded by the promises I best efforts, but rather what it is, is God's love alive in you. It is God speaking to you and helping you to understand who you are in a brand new way. And, and Matthew, what you're committing today is allowing that gift of God's love to be with you and never to become a moment in the past, but always something that is real in your lives and continues to give life to who you are. Sisters, it is my great pleasure to be able to introduce to you now, today, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Knapp. When I was thinking back on, well, how do you figure it out? Well, Peg and I have been married for 48 years. I thought that was pretty good. But then Glenn and Mary Pat, of course, have to beat us. Was it 52, 53, you know? 
So Matt and Laura, just think about this. When you're married around that age, you're gonna be in your mid 80s. You're gonna have a lot of time to figure it out. And the other thing that uh, is in the Bible but the priest didn't say today, there's an expression, go forth and multiply. So we'll leave that to you. But let's all toast to uh, Matt and Laura. What a great day. I'll raise a glass uh, and uh, a toast to this beautiful, beautiful couple. Uh, God bless you. Keep God in your minds. He's going to help you when you need help. And uh, I'm toast. I love you very much. Laura, seeing you wed the one you love makes me glow inside. It fills me up with happiness, warms my heart with pride. For I know that Matt must thank his lucky stars that fortune smiled down on him the day he won your heart. He'll share in your adventures as I have shared the same. Find comfort, strength, companionship each time he speaks your name. You'll brighten up his every day, just as you've done mine, bringing sparkle to his life. You're a truly lovely sister, Laura, a diamond of a wife. We see it now, the story comes together, beauty lives in every chapter. I am so happy that Matthew has chosen to spend his life with Laura. If I could have made a woman specifically for Matt and for my brother, it would have been her in every way. My wish for you is the gorgeous glow you have today and tonight, and how you feel today and tonight is what my brother sees every morning and every night. You are both so lucky and I look forward to sharing so many memories together as a family. God, our Father and Lord of all creation, we gather here now to celebrate the love and commitment of Matt and Laura. We thank you for blessing their marriage and ask that you continue to bless them with your love and mercy throughout their lives together. I may be the best man, but Matthew is the best brother. And this partnership tonight with Laura is truly the best union. To quote Mark Twain, to get the full value of joy, you must have someone to divide it with. May your love be timeless, and let's all cheers to the both of you. We love that we are able to have everyone here together and have the best time tonight. And Seriously, we love you all and thank you so much for being here. <laughs>